we're going to discuss properly leaning the airplane. When you take off close to the surface, the air is thick, but as we climb, the atmosphere air, air pressure becomes thinner and thinner and thinner. The throttle controls the amount of air that you're allowing your engine to use, and the mixture controls the amount of fuel your engine is going to use. And as we climb, as the atmosphere thins, the air becomes less and less and less. So our engine would be running too rich. We would have too much fuel for the amount of air in our engine. And we can't give more air if the throttle is already open unless we had a turbocharger, which we do not. But we could reduce the amount of fuel that our engine uses so we had to have the good ratio between the fuel-air mixture again. Now, how do we know how much fuel to take away from the engine? Well, we can do it several different ways. One way that we do it just kind of quickly by sound and fuel uh, feel of the aircraft, we begin to reduce the mixture, so we pull fuel away from the engine, and we continue to pull it away, and at first, the engine will speed up, because when I had too much fuel in there, the engine was a little sluggish, there was too much fuel for the amount of air, but as I start to reduce the fuel, then I, I come to the proper fuel-air uh, ratio. But you don't know what is the best until you've gone too far. So if you continue to reduce the amount of fuel, your, your engine will then start to run a bit rough and you'll actually feel the, the uh, engine vibrate a little bit. So you would want to then return the mixture until you felt like that was the smoothest and fastest sounding uh, of, of sound that the engine was making. So that's one way you can do it, just by sound and feel. You reduce the mixture until the engine begins to run a little slower rough, and then you increase the mixture to the point where you think it sounds the fastest and the smoothest. Now we can also observe our RPM gauge while we're doing this. On the RPM gauge, you typically, once you arrive at your cruise altitude, would reduce the RPMs to maybe 2400. And now it's time to lean the airplane. So at this point, we have too much fuel for the amount of air. As we begin to reduce the mixture, then the RPMs are going to start to increase just a little bit. They started at 2400, and maybe it went to 24, oops, 2450. But you will notice a very slight rise in RPMs as you're reducing the fuel. And there's going to be a point where you've reduced it too much, and now the RPMs will actually go back in the other direction. And that's also the point where the uh, engine will start to run a little rough or sluggish. So there, then what you would do is add the fuel back in there until the RPMs came back up to the highest value you saw. Maybe it came up 50, maybe 75, but wherever the highest RPM was, was where you would set that fuel mixture. Now another way to lean the engine is if you have an EGT gauge. EGT stands for exhaust gas temperature. And that gauge may look something similar to this. And on the gauge it'll say EGT 25 degrees Fahrenheit per dividend. And typically there's going to be two needles. One, you move yourself. So there's usually a little knob there and you move this needle yourself. The other needle is measuring the temperature of the engine. Now remember, this is coming off the exa exhaust pipe. So you have to change the temperature in the engine before the temperature changes coming out of the exhaust pipe. So this is a bit slower method, and you want to take your time doing this. So how this works is when you have too much fuel, the engine would be cooler. It's kind of like putting too much wood on a campfire. It would almost smother it and cool it down. So at first the temperature is cool, and then you start reducing the mixture. As you reduce the mixture, it makes the engine get hotter and hotter because basically the fire in the engine is better. As the temperature in the engine increases, the temperature in the exhaust will increase. So this needle will creep forward 
and at some point it's going to peak. So as I reduce the amount of fuel until I go too far, this needle will come to some peak point and then if I go too far with it, it'll actually slowly start to drop in the wrong direction or on the cooler side because now I've taken so much fuel away from it that it doesn't burn very well at all. So what I do with the needle that's movable is I mark wherever I saw the peak. So let's say that I saw a peak at this point right here. That's where I set the needle. And then I let this needle come up to the peak and then I would increase the mixture a little bit more to cool it back off by two increments. So first I reduce, I'm going to back up First, I'm going to reduce the amount of fuel. It makes the engine get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. And if I continue to reduce the fuel, it'll actually start to cool back off because then there's not enough fuel at all. But wherever I saw that hottest point is where I mark with my little uh, knob I can turn. I use that as my marker. And then what I want to do is I would increase the fuel to where it peaked and then cool back off by 50 degrees. How do I know what 50 degrees is? Most all of the EGT gauges are marked and it says 25 degrees Fahrenheit per dividend. So each little hash mark there represents 25 degrees. So I would want to cool the engine back off by 50 degrees. To summarize the different ways to lean your airplane, for a quick method, we may reduce the amount of mixture until the engine begins to run rough or a little slow and then increase the mixture until we hear it running smooth and fast again. Or we could look at the RPM gauge and we would reduce the mixture and watch the RPMs go faster until I've gone too far, then they would begin to slow back down. I put the fuel back in there to get the fastest, smoothest running RPM. Or I could use my EGT gauge, which this is a little bit slower process because I'm having to change the temperature in the engine before the temperature responds out of the, the exhaust pipe. And by using this method is I very slowly lean the mixture. I pull the fuel away from it until I see the hottest point of the, the um, exhaust temperature. And then I would enrich in the mixture back in so I give fuel back to the engine to cool it back off by 50 degrees. And we call that 50 degrees rich of peak. Most of the small general, uh, smaller airplanes use 50 degrees rich of peak. But you always want to refer to the owner's manual because the owner may want you to run it at peak or 50 lean of peak or 50 rich of peak or 100 rich of peak. But always refer to the owner's manual. But most airplanes, um, the smaller piston airplanes, like to, like to be run at 50 rich of peak.